Howdy guys, Bookie Laura here. Now recently I was lucky enough to receive an ARC copy of Boys Don't Cry by Tim Graben. Cry, it is there. And this is my review of that book for you. So this book is basically a memoir. It is written by Tim Graben about his life and his experiences. It's described as a story of love, depression and men. And that is exactly what it is. This book is about Tim Graben's coming to terms with and story of having depression and how he's managed that and his experiences. I think it's worth saying right from the start that mental health isn't talked about enough. I think it's, and it's such an important thing. It affects everyone. It, whether you yourself have mental health problems or whether you just know somebody who has, it impacts everybody in some way or another. And it, I'm really pleased lately with the kind of the twist where mental health is becoming more talked about and, and people are becoming more open. And this book does exactly that. The author has depression, suffers from depression and acute anxiety um, and he discusses in depth the issues surrounding that and how difficult it is to come to terms with and how difficult it is to live with but he also discusses an element that I can only, I can only imagine and that is being a man suffering with depression. Men are often made to feel as though they are not able, allowed to discuss their feelings, they're not supposed to cry, they're not supposed to have problems they're not supposed to talk about them and, and actually that adds a whole nother dimension a whole nother level to the difficulty and i thought it was really interesting to see it from that point of view first thing i should say about this book unsurprisingly it is an incredibly emotive read reading any book of this style is always going to be but i think that because you're reading about somebody's real life experience that adds that adds something to it which makes it more emotional because you realise the whole way through that this is somebody's life, this is a person that actually felt this way and that it, it was quite terrifying and, and, and distressing to read about. When I went into reading this book I kind of had in my head, oh good this is going to help me to understand depression, whereas actually I felt that it had the opposite effect and I don't mean that in a negative way but it made me realise the complexity of depression and of mental health problems and how actually it's, it's not something you can pinpoint, it's not something you can say this is what depression is, it's far more complicated than that and I think that this book helped me to appreciate that. This book is, is a memoir, it's far more autobiographical than I expected. I kind of had in my head that it was going to be more general about depression and, and people's experiences and blah 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 blah, but it's not. It's about his life and his experiences. The thing that I really liked about it was that it was a real story. I think sometimes reading fiction about mental health problems can can be quite complex because I think where do you take it do you make it have a positive ending and then possibly make mental health problems seem simpler than they are or do you make it an unpleasant ending and actually then give people quite a tragic and bleak outlook so reading a real story you, you didn't have to worry about that this is just real it's it's not overly romanticized it's not pretty for a lot of the time, but it is real and I think that, that that was important because reflecting on the fact that it was somebody's real life helped me in understanding more about mental health. I think I said in my Goodreads review of this book, it's not a polished piece of writing and I think that Tim Graben himself sums that up quite early on that this is not, this is not for want of a better way of putting it, it's not an author writing about their experiences, it's somebody with experiences writing about them. So it doesn't feel like a polished piece at all, however it feels real and I think that adds to that sort of gritty feeling of it. As I said previously, everybody is impacted by mental health in some way or another and I know that I am from both my own experiences and those of the people around me and it just felt for that reason like a really important read. When I read it, I felt like I was reading something that would impact me, that would that would make me empathise more and understand more about not only what other people might be going through, but it gave me more understanding about what I might be going through and where that falls in the grand scheme of things. So not the best piece of work that I've ever read, but probably one of the most important pieces that I've ever read and one of the books that will impact on my life in a really positive way. This is not pretty, it's not polished, but it is really important and I do recommend that you read it. If you've read this book then let me know or if you plan to read it then let me know and we can chat it out below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.